Hi and welcome to Let's Talk eBay. My name is Uch Bassini. Today is April 25th, 2021. Thank you for tuning in. I just want to start by saying thank you to all the new subscribers who recently subscribed to my channel. It is greatly appreciated. I hope you like the content and you come back for more. For those of you who are new or just hit my YouTube channel for the first time, I like to talk about online reselling. I like to share news and keep you guys abreast of what's going on in the e-commerce world. So if you want to become a better seller and you want to learn more about online reselling, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. And if you want to be updated as to when I put new videos, please hit that bell notification icon. So without further ado, I got quite a few windows open up. I want to go over a couple things with you guys and we're going to just take it from there. The first thing I want to share with you, if you are thinking about selling on eBay or if you are an avid seller on eBay, you may want to check out the eBay community homepage here. I highly recommend you check it out, especially if you're a newbie and you want to learn more about it. This is the best place to come, believe me. Okay, as you can see here, it's got welcome back shop RJ Pacini for great deals. You can tell I've been here quite a bit. Um, well, if you're in this business, you might as well learn everything you can from it, right? So if you look up here, you're going to see a couple of things that you're going to see. Seller news, discussion, knowledge base, the eBay for business podcast, and groups. Let's go through them very brief, and then we're going to keep moving on, okay? First, you can have the announcements. So we click on the announcements. They're going to talk about probably things that are coming up. The latest announcements here. Um, new coded coupons tool now live for eBay store subscribers, okay? Uh, sales and export product within the CE, CE symbol of the European Union. Um, then I got over here, more available shipping options are shown to buyers. New zero insertion fee allotments are now live. And let's see what's got over here. We're increasing the character limit for feedback, which is nice to know. And your spring sale update is here. And they got other stuff on the other side here. If you want to pick up on that as well, you could do that at your own leisure. But I highly recommend you come here and check it out. They also have the seller updates. Twenty when you hit when you click on here, uh, pull down menu is going to come. You're going to see 2021, 2022, fall, and uh, spring seller updates. Definitely check it out if you get a chance. The next one, if you're new to eBay, getting started, buying and selling basics, starting an eBay business, eBay selling coaches and classes. Okay. Then you got the knowledge base, buying and selling, questions and answers, commonly asked questions, community, mentor corner. And then you got the eBay for Business podcast, which I highly recommend you check it out. It comes out every Tuesday. I believe it's at 11 a.m. Uh, uh, Pacific Coast time. Uh, if you're in New York like I am, it'll come out. You'll be listening to it. <clears throat> I think 2 p.m. or something along that line uh, because of the difference in time, you know, the time difference there. And then you got the groups, eBay categories, you got antiques, art, auto, uh, automotive, eBay motors, baby books, and so on and so forth. You got the business insights, right? Local seller events, eBay sellers, listening tools and services, power sellers and store owners. And you got a bunch of other things here to check out for yourself. Again, if you, like I said, again, if you are new to selling on eBay or if you're thinking about selling on eBay, Check this out, folks. Come to the eBay community uh, homepage there. We'll back up one here, and you can check it out for yourself. This is what you'll be looking for when it pops up, that is. And I don't know if I gave you the URL, but let me just give it again. It's HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash community dot eBay dot com. All right, let's bump out of here. Now, eBay put out a thing here with Harry Temkin. He's the vice president of seller experience, and he's going to have some you know information for us and we're gonna play the video and uh, we're gonna take it from there uh, this is this is on again eBay if you go to the uh, their site here it says listing best practices okay the perfect listing and then over here you see there were four parts of quality four parts right uh, for a perfect listing title item specifics quality photos and price and it says watch the video here now I am not gonna play the whole video for the simple reason it's copyright you know, things you know that I don't want no copyright strikes or anything on my, my uh, YouTube channel. I will play clip, little snippets, okay? The rest is up to you, like I said again, to take, you know, to pick up where I left off. That's the whole premise behind me doing these YouTube channels, uh, this channel, I should say. Um, I call it the His Initiative to help inspire and share. That's a whole. The most important thing to me, folks, is that you guys get a takeaway from the stuff I put out, the information I put out. Okay, and that's why I share it. I don't mind doing the research and I don't mind sharing the information. When it becomes available to me, I'm going to make it available to you. So that's why it's very important that you guys out there, uh, if you could please subscribe to my channel. Not only are you going to help me grow, that'll that's a way you know help my channel grow. That's also a way of supporting this channel, and it also gives me more of incentive to keep producing good 
clean content okay on this youtube channel i do not discuss religion or politics and there's no profanity whatsoever i call i consider this a kid safe channel to be honest with you so if you want some good clean content fresh content please check me out hit that you that uh, subscribe button and again if you want to be updated please don't forget to hit that bell notification icon all right so just to, we're just going to recap a little over here they also have an active hyperlink where you could click this on and watch the video we got already got the window opened up over here so we're going to go to that uh, in a minute now it says over here examples of perfect listing titles very important harry will talk about that and you know in this video and then we're going to take it from there but if you look over here uh it goes with your fashion uh electronics collectibles and then it says use our you know, self-flow guidance okay uh, check it out if you get a chance and if you hit this button here it's going to say sell now it's going to take you there they also have over here best practices photo tips listing titles right clear descriptions right um choose the right listing format price competitive uh, competitively allow offers and share your listing and then it's got over here let's get started all right now i always like to uh being i'm, I'm on this page i'm going to always give it a thumbs up because I am an eBay seller, and I love eBay. Like I said, I don't know for those who don't know, I've been on eBay for over 20 years. So this is my go-to platform. All right, so we're going to bump out of here. All right, keep this in mind. If you look for the story of an eBay, this is the one you're looking for, listing best practices, okay? All right, so check that out if you get a chance. All right, now we're going to go over here. This is Harry Temkin over here, and he's going to talk. I'm going to have to mute, well, we have to mute this mic. And um, he's going to talk about uh some stuff to you that, that we all need to know about uh what's going on with ebay so i'm going to mute this mic really quick here and um check it out so today we're here to talk about the perfect listing now, this is really important because with over 1.3 billion listings on the platform you really want to have your listings stand out absolutely so there are four key elements to the perfect listing your title how you describe your listing in more detail, or what we call item specifics, photo quality, and finally price. So a perfect listing is really important because we wanna make sure we have the right buyer to the right product, product matching. So you can see right there and then how important the title is, okay? Now he's gonna go into a little further here in the next segment. And then, like I said, again, the, the video is only five minutes and 12 seconds long. But again, you know, I always recommend that you guys go directly to check it out yourself because I think other they have other videos. Well, they do have other videos. Uh, if you look, that's their eBay channel here, uh, eBay for Business. Okay, uh, they only got four. They got they got like fourteen thousand. They 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 clocking up to almost fifteen thousand subscribers. Um, I like them. I subscribe. As you can see over here, I'm subscribed to them. So anytime they put out new information, I'm also hitting that bell notification there. So whenever the information comes out, I'm always there. I'm right on top of it. <laughs> so uh, you know, let's just keep that in mind. All right, now let's 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 pause this for a second here, and um, we're gonna get to the next segment over here. So hang in there for one second. Okay. So let's see what Harry has to say about the titles. So title is really important. Why? Because it's the first thing that buyers see. It's what shows up in the search results page and what shows up in view item. The trick though is that you only have 80 characters available for your title, so you have to be very specific in the descriptors or the keywords that you use in the title. So as an example, my son and I sell a lot of Adidas Yeezy 350s. So in our title, we always have Adidas and Yeezy, which is the brand and the style. And then we also include the color, in this case say Clay or Lundmark, and we also include the gender, male or female, and then of course the size. And so I try Okay, I'm not going to get too too much into it, but you see how important the title is. You see what he's saying, what you need to put in there. It is that's the first thing that the people are going to see when they come to your listing. The title, I can't express it enough. It is the most important thing in there, and how you word it. And like you see, he's selling those sneakers. He's putting a size in there. Let's go. Let me just recap. Let's look at this really quick at his title here. Okay, let's see if I can get that right there. See how he's got it. He's got a Yeezy Boost 350. He's got the color of them, the clay color. Men's size, 9 and style. He's also got the other, I guess that's a product ID number, whatever. Okay? <clears throat> this is very important, folks. This is what's going to, like you said, it's going to help in a search. 
by not by by putting the wrong information there. I, I can't express it enough when it comes to you know doing your descriptions. You make sure that title is correct. You know, put all the, whatever you could put the pertinent the, the pertinent information there. That's gonna you know pick up in search. You know what I'm saying that you hopefully it's gonna get you know it's gonna get picked up. Yes, there's a lot of competition out there, but you know. We can't all think negative. We got to be positive with this type of business. Okay. Me personally, I'm more of an optimist than a pessimist, to be honest with you. I am always looking towards the brighter side of things. I don't want to just, you know, be one of these type of people just throw the talent and say, oh, forget it. It's too much competition out there. You know, it, look, if this is what your dream is, you want to you wanna sell on eBay, you want to do it as a part time gig or full time gig, whatever, and this is, you know, this is your dream, stick to it, man. Don't give up. Don't give up because you may give up on it. There's going to be other people, for every person like us or a person that thinks like that, there's going to be probably five or ten other people signing up every day doing the same thing. So don't give up on your dreams, okay? But just keep this in mind what he's referring to. You could always play this video back. Actually, you're better off just going to YouTube and playing this right from the beginning because I'm not going to play any more of it right now because, like I said again, you know, that that uh, copyright thing there, you know what I'm saying? So I figure let me just put little snippets in there just to give you guys a little heads up and say, okay, you know, this way you're getting a, a little overview as to what he's talking about when it comes to titles, okay? Definitely check this video out. It's um right over here. You can see my mouse cursor is it's eBay selling 101 four components of a perfect listing. Okay, that's the video you're gonna be looking for, and it's for it's under the eBay for business. Okay, that's what you want to look for. Okay, and you know what? If you got the time, you should subscribe, especially if you're gonna learn this business because they put out a lot of good information, folks. I think so anyway. I personally think so. So you know. Um, you know, and I like this video, as you can see, I put over here, or else if I didn't, it would say I'm like, so uh, I like, I like the stuff that they put out, I think eBay does a good job helping its sellers out, all right, <clears throat> now the other story I want to share with you guys, um, sometimes I fall upon these things, like that, pot, I don't know, it just, it just happens to come out like this, I was reading this in one of my email segments, uh, email notification segments, email notifications, and I came across this story, <clears throat> excuse me, and this is from the free press. If you want to read more into it, uh, let me give you the URL. It's www. Now I don't know if I'm saying this right. Mankata. What is it? Mankata. Man. Cato Free Press. Dot com. That's what it looks like there. Okay. Anyway, um, or you can just type in the free press, <laughs> and that'll probably bring you there because it's got a weird thing. Uh, let me just spell out for you. It's www. Dot m a n k a T O free press, that's all one word, folks, dot com. Okay? If you can't, just type in this one over here. Uh, or, or you could just, you know, pause the video. I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm just going to read a little about it. But the reason why this caught my eye is because uh, I was in a thrift store the other day with my, my brother. We were in there because we were talking, you know, we go there on occasion together, you know, because he sells too. And <clears throat> we, went, we went down the glass aisle where they sell cups and dishes and all that stuff there. And he told me, uh, that him and his girlfriend one time they were in there and that's that same thrift store we go to um he's seen what they call cobalt blue uh they, i think they had dishes at the time <clears throat> excuse me and when he was telling me what they sold each dish was selling for i mean i was like wow you know i never i never thought about cobalt stuff i never thought about this stuff i mean you know until someone tells you to or brings it to your attention, like I'm bringing it to your attention, you know, people may not know. I don't know everything about this stuff, okay? I'm not, I'm not, I know, even though I've been on eBay for over 20 years, it doesn't make me an eBay guru. Uh, I'm still learning. That's why when I told you in the, in the intros uh, that, you know, uh, this is to share information with you guys to keep you in the loop. Hopefully, you'll get a takeaway from it. You'll learn something, you know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> that's why I do these videos. Now, I wasn't aware about this, this uh, you know, these cobalt dishes and glasses and stuff so i said you know what let me do a little research on it <clears throat> so this story goes on it goes on to say there may be an ebay gold mine in your home okay it goes on to say here it all started with cobalt blue drinking glasses one of a half a dozen we picked up in a rummage sale at some point over the past 20 years when our son had hank broke one of the glasses he looked on ebay to see how much the replacement glass would cost why did he, why, the niggas don't see why he did that is still unclear to me. I might get upset if he broke the dishwasher, but the drinking glasses, who cares? But anyway, 
It goes on to say, you know those drinking glasses with the with the stars and the moons on them? He asked. I looked up on eBay and they're selling for 80 bucks. Now, I got a couple windows opened up over here. I got even an Etsy and so on and so forth. I got eBay and that. I want to just go through it really quick. I'm not going to read the rest of this story. You could if you, you choose to do so. Um, let's go over here, for example, on eBay, okay? Now, if you pick these things up, and my brother, I think he said he got those for ridiculous prices. I think, you know, if he paid five bucks or a couple dollars for each plate, whatever it was. They were cobalt like this, blue like this here, like that, that color. And I don't know if he said he sold, I don't know if he said he sold a set for like two or three hundred dollars, whatever. But he got like, you know, you go to the thrift stores, especially if they have half off sales. Oh my gosh, you can make a great profit on that, believe me. I, the thrift stores around here, sometimes they have half off. And now they came up with a new color code system where they have uh, if, different colors. So if it's, let's say it's blue, it'll be 25% off. If it's yellow, it'll be 50%. If it's green, it'll be 75% off. So in some cases, depending on the color code for that day, and if those items are marked at that price, you can get these things for 75% uh, off. So that's even better yet. But he got hit at the time he picked them up. He got them for a uh, half off price. So he did really good. He got he really lucked out. Uh, and now every time we go there, he always looks for these uh, cobalt glasses and dinnerware stuff. But look at the prices, though. For example, this is just to give you an idea. Um, it's, it's this one here, $39.99. All right, I'm sure they got to be in really pristine condition too. I would think. Here's uh, four vintage cobalt glasses, right? Uh, yeah, blue glass. Uh, these are 45 or best offer. Some of them have best offers. Some people, are, you know, want that price. But if this is just to give you an idea of what they're selling for, okay? And they usually like these blue ones here, not the animal, but the light ones. But they still seem like that. But these are like a little light shaded ones here. But it seems like the blue cobalt ones. These are the ones that people like. These these seem to have value. Look at this, hundred nine dollars for that. Uh, here's a set of four uh, Libby cold blue uh, cold blue highball drinking tumblers. Right, forty eight dollars a best offer. Now we don't know what they're going to take for best offer, but let's go to another one over here. If this window work. Now I clicked in. I just typed in here blue gold ball glassware. This page came up. Now, the sun, or whoever was talking about the glasses with the, mar the, the moon and the stars on them, this is what he was referring to. As you can see, you got 15 people watching me going for $45, and I think this is only a lot of three. Okay? Now, not everything is going to be super, super expensive, but folks, you know, when it comes down to making money, even like this here, you say, geez, these are, these are blue glass, or whatever, a cobalt blue glass dishes here, right? Whatever, that dessert plates, they're only getting $19 for them. But still, suppose you got, what did you get, four? Suppose you got four for those for four bucks. You're still making a profit, right? I mean, I'm not saying everything's going to be super, you know, super expensive. You know, you going to make a, a ton of money, but one never knows, you know? And they all go at different prices, of course. You know, like here's a, here's a set of two, it looks like, right? Yeah, uh, $85. Now, again, what people put on there, the prices, doesn't necessarily mean that's what they're going to get, especially if you're offering with a best offer. So, you know, I mean, me, if I was to buy these, if I come across, now I know about them, I will be looking them up, you know, be looking out, be on the lookout for them. Um, I'm going to probably put best offer on there. And like I said, if I'm getting for like, you know, I'm not going to say next to nothing, but if I could, let's say like, for example, over here, I get these glasses for a dollar a piece, right? I mean, I don't care. If I sell them, if I list them for the same price, $29.99, and someone says, I'll give you 20 bucks from a 15 bucks, I'm still making a profit. Not a big, great big profit, but I'm still making a profit. So let's close this one out here, check another one out. Then I put over here, that was blue, that was blue. This is, I put vintage in there. And then when you come up with it, then again, you'll start to see the pricing is different. You know, $9 for this particular one, $15. You know, then it's like, wow, geez, I thought you said there was more money in them. Well, it all depends, again, you know. Um, it depends what you're getting it for. You may be at a yard sale. You might get a piece for, I don't know, 75 cents. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. I don't go to yard sales. I go. I do all my, my thrifting. You know, I get all my merchandise, a lot of it, a percentage of it at thrift stores. But, you know, again, you know, if you're getting it for a decent price and you're making a decent profit on it, I don't find nothing wrong with it. So let's go over here again. And I'll tell you one thing. When it comes to selling vintage stuff, you might want to look into Etsy. You know, I know that's what I would be looking for. That's what I'm, that, if I do come across, I think, because I have an Etsy account, I will put, most likely put them on there. Here's the ones that his son was talking about, right? The celestial sun, moon, and stars, right? Here, wine goblets. Buy it now, $59.99, uh, $95. And he got two watches on it, okay? So, yeah, in some cases... 
there's a markup for them, and in some cases, they're not. But again, this is the stuff that you want to be on the lookout for, okay? Granted, you're not going to want to buy this. But who knows, you know? I mean, you might pick something like this up and you might you might do great with it. You might you might put it up at auction, you might start the auction for five ninety nine and if the people really want that specific one you got, they could drive the price even higher. So never underestimate it, you know what I'm saying, folks? Never underestimate yourself with when it comes to things of that nature. Now here's uh, Etsy. I think me personally, because Etsy, I always felt is more like a vintage thing. You know, they like that type of uh, that type of uh, merchandise on there. If you look over here, you'll see again. Here's the one etched stars and moons, uh, yeah, moons, wine glass, whatever. Uh, they're offering free shipping, and they they got theirs for ninety dollars. Here's another one. Again, this is now. Remember, this is Etsy that we're looking at. This is for sixty-five. This is for twenty-eight for one. For one uh, was this a goblet, whatever. For we glass mug whatever you want to call it that's $28 and you look like I said keep an eye out for them okay that's all I'm telling you look at the prices of these things all right uh, again and this is Etsy so let's close out this one here I think I the reason why you see a couple of windows opened up is because I want to I put in different uh, titles in there I put drinking glasses with the stars and moons I might have just taken out and put the they got out the drinking glass and just put uh, glasses with stars and moons or stuff like that you know uh, each time you add something or you change the title around you're gonna get different search results so keep that in mind too all right and then again I typed in it again, rare vintage, right? I put that in there, uh, <laughs> and this came up, okay? Uh, what is this here? Is this a blue? Yeah, this is a thing there. Now, this doesn't say if it's cobalt, right? Does it say that? No, it don't. It doesn't look like it. No, I don't see it there. Again, it just says uh, Smith Blue, you know, Blue Moon and Stars, mid century, whatever, $149, okay? And that's basically all they have over here as well, all right? All right. Um, What's this next one? Okay, what's that's my YouTube channel. We don't need to go there. But I wanted to show you guys, um, if you ever went to this site, it's called watchcount.com. Definitely check it out. It'll give you an idea of how many bar, uh, watches, or I should say potential eBay uh, buyers are, because that's why I call it watches or buyers in some cases. This will give you uh, a general idea of how many people are watching that particular item, especially if you're selling it. Now, uh, the URL is very simple. It's www dot watch count one word dot com I highly recommend you check this out every now and then so it says oh yeah what's most popular on eBay as voted by eBay users this is the latest one it's the one uh, for 2.0 I just copied and pasted it from the story I went to that story there and I just copied and pasted it and when I hit the show me button and do it live now this is what came up this one here for this Mexican glassware cobalt blue rim drinking glass has 31 eBay watches okay the person over here and if you look at this information here it'll say $45.57 it gives you the uh, eBay user ID and it gives you um, I guess what it is there glasses and drinkware what else the category it's under that's another thing too folks make sure when you're doing this and you if you get you come across these items that you put them in the right category not only the title is important well, the description is really important because, like I said again, like I, I said in my other videos, with the descriptions, you want to make sure you're very definitive when it comes to the descriptions because, folks, believe me, you don't want to leave anything out. That's not that's the, especially if it's an item that might have damage on it or discoloration and stuff like that. Be upfront and honest with people, folks, because if you don't and you send it out anyway, ah, eh, the buyer might not see it or notice it. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. They're gonna be. They're not gonna be happy. Let's put it that way. So my my take is, when it comes to writing the description up, as I said it before, I was sometimes I use my cell phone or something else. If I'm gonna put this thing up for auction or not for auction, up, but for sale on eBay, I'm going to look at this thing and I'm gonna twist it. You know, I'm gonna make sure, especially if it doesn't have a case on it, and I'm gonna make sure if there's no scratches, dings, or dents on it, or it's cracked or whatever. I'm gonna make sure I list everything as I see it. And that's what you should do with your item. Keep it in front of you. I'm not saying if it's a big, big item, you know, you're not gonna put I could put it on my desk here because these are little items. But you know, just be very definitive with the stuff in there. You know, let people know what they're getting. Because if not, and you send it out like that, you're gonna have a very unhappy um, a buyer, and you know, they may leave you a negative or neutral feedback. And I don't know about you, I don't want neither. I don't want a negative or a neutral feedback. I want my buyers to be hundred percent happy because if they're happy, they're not happy. That's how I look at it, you know what I'm saying? My buyers are my number one priority, and I'll, I will jump through hoops to make them happy. 
seriously. But anyway, check out this here, watchcount.com, and this will give you an idea. Uh, now, you may say, why? Well, if you're thinking the next question would be is, why would I come here? Why would I want to come to watchcount.com? For the simple reason is, and I said this in my other videos, if you have or you're selling something similar or the same exact thing, and these guys are getting uh, watches and you're getting zero, come here, copy and paste your, you know, your the item you're selling, put it in the search engine, the search, the search, the search uh, window, hit the show me and see if that same exact thing comes up. Look at the buyers, see how many buyers it has. If it's got a lot of buyers, this one's got 31 for this particular Mexican glassware. We'll use as an example. Let's say I'm selling that there. He's got 31 eBay watches. I have zero. I want to know why. Then what I do is I compare. I go back to my listing. I keep another window open. I keep my, my window open, my listing open, and I compare. And in some cases, I will copy the title. Okay? You could reword it or copy it exactly. Well, this is what I do. I would copy exactly, right? And copy, remove the one I have, paste it in there, right? And then I check the description. The, uh, uh, well, the description is one thing. That's, got, that's something I'm going to do. I'm not going to copy anybody else's description. Um, then what I do is I look at the category and I make sure I'm in that proper category. Now, there, are been, there have been cases by me doing this basic, very basic research, I have found that the items I was selling was in the wrong category. And that's why I wasn't getting any views. So it's very important. Title, I would definitely say, is the most important thing of all, along with the clear photo, you know, good clean photos as well. But the title is to be the first thing, and that's gonna that's gonna most likely be the thing that the, uh, the search the, uh, the algorithm is gonna look for. Okay, so this person has 31. This person has Mexican list. I say, yeah, but the guy right below it, <laughs> he's got 22. He's got the same thing. But let's take notice over here. He's got Mexican glassware. He didn't copy this. He didn't copy from me because look how his is, right? Only up to here, he's got tumblers. He's got drinking glass because there is a difference. There is a tumbler and a drinking glass. But you see, now people might say, geez, he looked like he, he didn't copy. Okay? This one over here, he's got 19 watches. Same thing, selling Mexican glassware. But look at the prices, though. And I'm not saying these are phenomenal prices. But look at them. I mean, look at the prices. And again, folks, if you're getting them for like my thrift store, I look at glasses like that. When they have those sales, you can get a cup, a, a, you know, something like this for 50 cents. Seriously. When they have air focus, the cups are cheap. They're only 99 cents in there. I normally don't talk about the pricing, you know, but they are. The mugs, dishes, you know, they're, they're like 99 cents. And they have half off, you're getting it for 50 cents. I mean, so you might say, geez, it's not like that's such a great markup. This is a nice, to me, that's a nice markup. I mean, a nice profit thing. If I can get a set of these here, and, and even if they're a buck a piece for six bucks and I'm selling for $59.99, that's a pretty decent profit, I would have to honestly say, folks. So don't dismiss it, okay? Now, I'm not going to spend too much time on this here. Matter of fact, I want to close this video out. Uh, this is just to give you an example, you know, just give you a little idea of what's going on there. And if you follow this here, it may help, okay? Meaning that, you, may, you know, if you're wondering how will it help, is like I said exactly what I said earlier. Do comparisons. I The first thing I do is I go to the person who has the highest amount of watches. In this particular case, if I was selling this here, let's say I'm selling Mexican glassware, again, just to recap, He's got 31 eBay watches. All right. His title, he's got a set of six. Okay, whatever. You know, but I would copy that down, paste it in mind. And the most important thing is, is your categories. Check the categories out there. Make sure you're in the right category. Description, you already took care of the description. The title, I mean. No, the title I meant to say. And then the other thing is the description. Okay. Be very. All I'm saying is be very definitive when it comes to that. There, right? Put it. Put every little thing down. If it, like I said, I, I use my cell phone as an example. If it's got scratches, chips, or anything, or whatever, I'm gonna make sure that that's all listed in the description. Because, if, folks, you don't want to unless it's done accidentally, knowingly. If you have something like this, like this iPhone, knowingly, if I had the scratch or something or a ding or a dent on it. And I know it's there, and I'm going to put it up on eBay. 
You think, <laughs> and if, especially if you listed it as good, clean condition, you know what I'm saying? That's really like, that's going to really look like a slap in the face. You may want to think different about that. Think twice before listing that. So always do it. You know, you got in your hand, whatever it is, you know, just look, give it the once over, you know, uh, make sure everything looks copacetic with, okay, everything looks good. It checks out. If it's in good condition, you put it in there. Perfect condition or good condition, whatever, you know. If it's got scratches on the, on the glass, put it on there. It's got fine scratches on there, you know. This way you protect yourself because what happens is then, let me, let me share a quick story with you guys. eBay, I know a lot of people will knock eBay. Uh, there are a lot of, sometimes I, I've read stories on, on other community chat boards and stuff like that. There are people out there who will knock eBay. They will, they'll knock it. They will say this, that, and the other thing about it. Let me tell you something. Now, eBay has been pretty fair with me. I have to honestly, matter of fact, they are pretty good to me. I got to honestly be on, upfront and honest with you guys. I have sold Keurigs, Keurig coffee makers for quite some time. Not 20, 30 years. I mean, but you know, I've been selling for quite some time. And there was an incident one time where a buyer had purchased one and was saying the thing came to them. It was leaking water. Coffee was spewing out of it. This, that, and the other thing. And they left me a negative feedback. They left me negative feedback. Didn't even contact me to say, you know, tell, you know, they didn't even say like, you know, could we get a refund? This person was out to get me and they, whatever with the with the negative feedback, and they didn't. It's like they didn't want to even contact me for anything. I give full thirty day refunds on the items I sell, all the items, new and pre owned, right? This person just blatantly lied, came out and lied. And I contacted them, you know, now, now I'm not with, uh, what do you call it there, uh, PayPal anymore. Well, I am with them, I have an active account, but I don't use, we can't use it for eBay because now I want to manage payment. I tried reaching out to that buyer through the message, eBay messaging. I sent him, I think, three messages and I didn't hear anything from him. PayPal, when you print out the PayPal transaction detail sheet, it has the buyer's phone number on there. You know, I said, listen, I messaged this guy three times and three times, and he haven't gotten any response from this guy. I picked up the phone, I called him up, and I said, is this so-and-so? Yes, that'd be me. I said, hi, I'm Rich Bassini from Shop RJ Bassini from Great, you know, from eBay. And I said, you know, I, I go, I, I I can't help noticing you left me a negative feedback. And he said, yeah, well, he goes, you know, he's then he's giving me the spiel. He goes, well, you know, uh, I had an argument with my wife, and uh, I just put it out there like that. I say, okay, well, I go, um, is there anything I could do to, you know, make things better? So he goes, no, nah, and he goes, don't worry about it. He goes, I'll, I'll remove it. He goes, I'll remove the uh, the negative feedback. I said, because I said, look, I go, even, and, and let me tell you, and you want to know something? It was, pa the 30 days was past due. It was more like 40 days. Okay? I was willing to take it back and eat the loss, right? And that was it. So he goes, no, I'll take care. I'll take care. Well, needless to say i wasn't if this guy was very adamant about it i said i'm not gonna wait for him nick he might be taking care of it probably next next couple of months or whatever so what i did was i contacted ebay i went to ebay's customer service i wrote a nice little one pager explaining myself to ebay i said was it i go everything checked out i told i i mess i just the way just the way i, I i'm telling you guys is what i said to ebay the teammate I said, you know, I told him to send it back. He refused to send it back. I want to make good on it. I wanted it, you know, I wanted him to, you know, give it back to me. And I was going to give him a full refund even after his, even after the 30-day thing expired. I typed that letter up, you know, on eBay. I sent it off to them. I explained to the situation. I said, I don't think it's fair. He had it for over a month. And then he leave, finally, then like a, a tenth, like a, on a 40th day, he leaves me a negative feedback. I said, I don't think that's fair. I said, I've been on eBay for so many years. I said, I don't do that to my buyers. I treat my buyers with ultimate respect. They're my number one priority. And what I'm telling you is basically what I said in the letter, not verbatim, but what I said, you know, that's basically what I said. And I said, I know it's probably not going to happen. 
I know it's probably not gonna happen because somebody said because I was watching the guy, uh, somebody on YouTube, and said, "Folks, when you get a when you get a problem, a negative feedback from eBay, you're not gonna get it removed. I don't care what anybody says." Well, I have to beg to differ. I got it removed like within a day later. They messaged me back and said, "Congratulations, whatever, whatever." They said, "Oh, good, no, no, good news, not congratulations. Good news, uh, we were able to remove the negative feedback." So, you know, they 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 had my back. Okay, uh, it was another incident too where a buyer had purchased something from me and wanted to send it back because they said it was the item was not as described and his item is defective. And again, I fought it with them, with the not fought it with eBay. I contact, I reached out to them. Let's put that. It's a better way of saying it. I didn't fight with them. I re I reached out to eBay, and I said what they were saying was wrong. Again, false. The eBay teammate looked at the listing, looked at my description. And it said it right there. You know, all the information was there. The buyer lied. The buyer lied. They sent it back and I gave him a full refund. So, you know, the teammate said, what do you want to do? The eBay teammate said, I said, no. He said, let him send it back. I said, I'll give him a full refund. He said, well, that's very nice of you. You know, they, you know, you don't, I think she said, you don't have to do that or whatever you're okay with. And I said, no, I'll give him a refund. I'm not, look, I'm not, I'm in this business. I'm not a fly-by-night business. I want people to be happy with the service. And before, and before I close this video out, that's why I want to say one thing uh, in regards to being over on this topic. If you guys out there hit my my eBay listings, um, my user ID, just in case you want to check it out, it's shop-rjpassini-4. Four dash great dash deals. The reason I broke it with dash, I didn't want to leave it one big word. You know what I'm saying? Um, I offer a 30 day money back guarantee. And the most important thing I tell I tell people in my videos, before you make any purchases for me, if you got the time, before you make any purchases, please read the feedbacks of what other uh, happy buyers are saying about my service, folks. Like I said earlier, I'm not a fly by night outfit. You could check my eBay profile. I've been on eBay since July of 1999. I, I, the, the, the feedback speaks for itself. Okay, the feedback feeds, it speaks for itself. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm upfront and honest with people. Like I said again, if I'm going to sell something to you guys, I'm going to do my due diligence to make sure that item is, you know, is described as described. Okay, this is why I tell people when it's starting out. And for those of you out there who are newbies, heed my words, seriously. What is it going to take? A couple of minutes, whatever. You give the thing a once over, even if you take, and you know when you notice these things? This is the gospel truth. You know when I start noticing these things? Um, when I notice that there's a, a flaw or a discrepancy uh, is when I take the photos. Pictures don't lie. What do they say? Every picture tells a thousand words. Man, if it, it, that ain't true, only instead of telling a thousand words, uh, <laughs> it picks out the flaws. Literally, seriously. There are things, I wear glasses for reading, okay? Um, when I'm doing my research, you know, when I'm doing my listings, I do my descriptions, I do keep the glasses on, of course. Or else I, like, there are things may go out with flaws, things or scratches on that I don't see. But for the most part, um, I might be thinking, oh, yeah, and, and here's the other thing. If you're going to take photos, take them in the daytime with natural sunlight. I do mine sometimes late in the evening. It gets dark, and then I got the, I turn on the living room light, whatever, or wherever, and from the office or something. And the lighting is not that great in here. So when you're when you're working on those conditions with just regular house light, you know, uh, you know the incandescent bulbs, what do you call them? Um, you know, you're only going to get so much illumination from them. But I found that happen, and I'm taking pictures. and I'm saying, gee, they look great. They look great. And then, you know, the next morning when I'm getting ready to, you know, list them, I'm looking at the photos like, oh, my gosh. I said, this thing's got, it's got a little speck of dirt on it or whatever. It's got a, it's got a streak on it or this thing has a little scratch or a nick. I said, I didn't even notice that. But, well, it's because, again, you know, the situation, like if you're doing it in the evening and you got the regular house lights on as opposed to natural daylight, that's a different story. I like to shoot my photos and I do my videos in the daytime, like right now, it is 5.36 p.m., right? Yeah, 5, no, 5.38 p.m. right now over here in the East Coast of New York. Um, it's still bright. 
it's still light out there so I mean I could see pretty good right now if I was to take pictures right now I got enough illumination back there because I got the two windows there and the display board is set up there which is all white you know so you know I get good lighting with that there and um, I could see you know like I said for the most part I could see shooting better in the daylight when it comes to it with my camera so that's another thing too another little tip if you're gonna shoot video uh, well even videos but if you're gonna shoot you know, take pictures of the items you're gonna put up on eBay try to shoot them in natural lighting if you could now the flash I gotta say one thing about the flash with certain things it will suppress or bleach out an item like in other words if it has flaws on it that's another thing I want to share with you guys I've had that happen with me when I take a picture without the flash on the item looks great you put the flash on it and it highlights everything you can see scratches this that, and the other thing so make sure when you're shooting try to shoot in natural light and you don't want the flash because the flash I don't know if you guys don't want to talk about it, the flash will mask out imperfections okay if it's like a, like with me I sell sometimes sell keyboards the older ones and they're the keyboards because they're aged and they might be in an area that's been hit the sun's been hitting and they get discoloration they turn like a yellowish color when I take a picture with the flash on they show like it's like it looks brand new because it's like it shows like it's pure white and then like I said but when you shoot it in a natural lighting you see it's true color and a true color is it's yellowed it's not pure white it's yellowed that's what I'm trying to say the flashes when you use your flash on your camera it will mask out and suppress the, uh, the the true color of it so try to shoot in natural daylight if you could in a well-lit area and if you do it that way you should be good but before you uh, my last tip is before you upload that picture that item look at your pictures first <laughs> seriously because they pick out things that I'm telling you I have seen happen too many times and thank God, I, I always, like I said, I give it the once over, the twice over, sometimes I do it three times if I have to. I want to make sure that item is going out there. It's it's, it's going to have it's, it be just as described. If it's got a, a scratch or a ding or a dent or it's discolored, I want to make sure all that's in the description. So that's that's how you want to do it, folks. All right, listen, um, I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, it is Sunday. Right now, the sun's breaking out. We had a lot of rain this morning over here in New York. And uh, it's starting to brighten up. Could you imagine that day? It's going to be going on 6 o'clock soon. And the sun is brightening. It's starting to come out. It's okay. I'll take it. I'd rather, have, I'd rather see a nice sunny day than a rainy day, right? Anyway, uh, I always like to close my videos out like this. If you are thinking about selling on eBay or you are a seller on eBay, I am wishing you guys all the best in sales. My name is Rich Bassini. You're watching Let's Talk eBay for April 25th, 2021. I hope you guys like the information I put out and most important that you get a takeaway from it. If you want to leave a thumbs up, that'd be great. If you don't, that's fine too. I'm okay with that. If you do like any of my videos, folks, and you want to learn more about online reselling and stuff like that, please hit that bell notification icon and please subscribe to my channel. And um, when I get that, when I post that new information, you'll get it. And like I said, folks, this channel was created for all intents and purposes to help you out. Not only do I do the Let's Talk eBay segment, I do the uh, reseller news. I'm also a vlogger. So there may be times I might talk and do some do it yourself, how to's, whatever of that nature. It's kind of like an open forum with me. But I re rest assured one thing, though, I will say this whatever I show you, it's, it'll be beneficial to you. It'll, it'll help you out. Okay? It's to help you, not to hinder you, not to, not to you know, uh, put out bad information that's not going to be helpful to you. Okay? All right? I do these things with good intentions, and uh, my, my goal in life is to see, you know, if I, if I can help a lot of people out. And I tell you the truth, I'm over here looking for a milestone to grow my channel to a thousand subscribers. I would love to grow to a millions of subscribers. And, you know, because when I put out information, that's how many more people hopefully will get a takeaway from it and learn from it. So, I mean, my milestone is a thousand subscribers, but I would love to have millions of subscribers. Um, I don't know if I'll ever see that in my lifetime, but one never knows, you know. You got to, like they say, it's like a lottery there. You got to be in it to win it, right? So, 
you know, you never know. So uh, we'll see where it goes from here. But again, you know, with your help, if you like this video and subscribe to it, yeah, you could help me get to that milestone. And uh, that'd be something that that'd be like a celebration for me, to be honest with you. Growing the channel and, and what I, the, the subscribers I have now, for those of you out there that are, are loyal subscribers that have been with me for a while, you know, for quite some time, and the new ones, I just want to say, again, I'm sorry to repeat myself, but I just want to say thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I really do appreciate it. And um, reach out to me if, if there's any help, if I could help you guys out in any way uh, with, you know, information, if there's something that you need to, you know, you want me to follow up on or you want to see me talk about something, uh, drop it in the comment below. I'd be more than happy to help in any which way I can, okay? So I just want to help people out, folks. That's That's what I'm all about. So anyway, have a great day. I'll talk to you the next time. Bye-bye for now.